<laughs> so, as for this other project you have... Socially distant. Mm. So, like I said, I am very into hacking and cybersecurity, and um, I've always wanted to make something like Watch Dogs as a kid. Like, that was another big dream that I had was making my own version of Watch Dogs. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, I don't have the ability to do that. I'm one person. There's no way I'm ever coming close to Ubisoft. Look, to be fair, uh, Ubisoft but... didn't have the ability to make it, and that's why I got fairly downgraded. <laughs> fair point, but, you know, they at least were able to 3D model a city. Sure, I can't even 3D sure. model a cube. But um, with uh, Socially Distant, it actually was in development for as long as I've been programming. I've mm -hmm. it, under different names and uh, constant rewrites and stuff like that. It, it's kind of it, it started out as me creating like a virtual operating system environment mm -hmm. in like Windows forms mm -hmm. uh, in C sharp, and that was how I learned how to program in C sharp. Was doing that. I would create all these little different apps, like a terminal and a file browser and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And that itself was inspired by another project doing the same thing called ShiftOS. <laughs> we don't talk about ShiftOS, <laughs> but um, I, I ended up uh, in 2017, I got kind of bored with the whole just creating an operating environment type thing. And I wanted to turn it into a hacking game because at that point I had played games like Hacknet and Uplink and Mud, and I didn't really like them because they weren't super realistic or challenging. Um, like, to their credit, they are, f they are fun games. Like, they, they are visually interesting. They have a lot of neat mechanics and puzzles, but it's, it's not the type of hacking game that I like, that I'd want to play. It's a lot of repeated actions. Like, most of Hacknet early game is just SSH Crack 22, and then Port Hack, and then Wait, and then do your thing and then disconnect and it's like no i don't want to play that all day um so with socially distant and and the earlier version of it in 2017 i wanted to basically tell a story but also kind of recreate or kind of gamify realistic real life hacking so in socially distant for example i have basically layers one through three of the osi model of like the internet simulated in game so like there's a concept of ethernet and wi-fi in the game there's network interface cards and ethernet ports and connections and ip addresses subnets all this stuff so you made wire so shock the game basically yeah it's i i haven't recreated tcp but i have my own communication protocol that mm -hmm. the game uses in that simulation and it's very technical but what it lets me do is it lets me go even more advanced than a game like hacknet where all the computers just have public ip addresses or domain <laughs> names now you have like you, corporate networks where you have like one public address with like port forwarding rules maybe port 80 goes to one computer in the network and then your SSH goes to another computer, or maybe isn't even open at all. Uh, or maybe it's only available to certain other IP addresses. Um, and there's, like, the ability to do VPNs and stuff like that in the game simulation. And what that lets me do is create missions where it's less about getting into a computer mm -hmm. and more getting into a network and getting into the right computer to get the, gate, or to get the data that you want. Mm -hmm. Because if you hack into a corporate website you're probably not going to get their database right away. Sure. You're probably going to have to move through their network and discover other computers and hack into those. Mm -hmm. And then, so, yeah, that's kind of the big thing of Socially Distant is making the hacking system more true to real life. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, with the whole pandemic happening in 2020, uh, that was where the story and the name came from. Mm -hmm. The the entire narrative of the game is like this massive ransomware attack hitting all of the healthcare system and stuff like that in the middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And then, just spoiler alert, 
you are the one who accidentally launched the, the malware attack, and you're the one as the player who has to stop it. Um, so that's the entire premise of the game, mm-hmm. is you were kind of tricked into or framed into launching this massive attack mm-hmm. on cyberspace, and it's your job to clean up the mess and not get arrested. That does sound... That does sound fun. It sounds like a lot of it's going to go way over my head. Um, I, But for someone who's like interested in like that side of computing, that sounds like a really cool concept. Yeah, it's I, I, I'm glad you feel that way because it's I, I, I struggle with with kind of making the game fun to play because mm-hmm. obviously being the developer of the game i know exactly how it works and how to use it and how to make things happen right i don't know what it's like as a player and i won't know until i get a playtest build out or something to get mm-hmm. people's feedback but I'm, I'm glad that i'm able to like articulate my idea for the game and have people go okay this sounds cool i don't know if it's my thing but it sounds cool yeah, I, that really means a lot. I I don't like networking, so I'm not the person who's gonna ever be interested in this. But for the people who are, assuming it all comes together, that does sound like a cool concept. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited for it to come out. Uh, of course, it's gonna be a few years. Right, right, <laughs> but... okay. <laughs> well, yeah, considering what you're trying to do. Like, how far do you want to go with that? Like, you said you've already implemented three layers of the OSI layer. Like, how... Like, are you going to be, like, re-implanting, like, a database? Like, what... what, How... Because you could go as far as you wanted with this. There's got to be a cutoff point somewhere, though. I'm not going to write (laughs) MySQL. Not going to (laughs) happen. Um, Once you get past layer three of the simulation... Um, but the application layer is completely gamified. Like, when you go to a website, all it's going to do is, like, check some metadata in the save file and figure out what Unity prefab to load. That's right. all it's going to do. Right. Um, but as far as, like, traversing a network and getting into it, I wanted to have that be super realistic because I don't want it to just be, like, Hacknet early game where it's press hack and wait. I don't want that. <laughs> I actually want you to, like, figure out i want you to explore the networks in the game's world is what i what i really want 